when this whole crap with COVID went down, you were like, okay, now we need to regroup yeah. and pivot. Can you just That's a, talk about you got that? It. They shut us down, man. <laughs> I know they did. I mean, it's just, yeah. boom, you're out of business. Man, are you, wait, is this really true? Like, is this going to happen? Next thing you know, close. So 21 years and boom, you're out of business. 450 haircutters off the job, lock up, we're out. We're done. The significance of it didn't really hit me. I was like, okay, guys, we got to close for a little bit. No problem. Keep in touch with you. You know, talk to you soon. And then two weeks becomes a month, becomes six weeks, two months. And then it's like, man, this un- is this unbelievable. This is, this is shattering, uh, f- uh, crushing. Our barbers were panicked. And, you know, we, it's like, Obviously, there was unemployment opportunities, but the unemployment offices were backed up like to no end, so people weren't getting their money. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. We just kind of wrote it out. We fortunately, uh, the PPP money that you know that was available for businesses that that saved us. Then it, the phasing started to occur where we could open up under certain conditions, and opening up, but only being able to open up only cert- under certain conditions was harder than being closed because. When you're closed, you're closed. But when you're open, but you can only do three people, you, you're you open with all the expenses of being open, but there's still no revenue because you can only do three people. You know, I just give all the credit to my wife, Allison, and my daughter, Olivia, Kim, and Connie, the, the gals, part of our franchise group. They just uh, looked at the guidelines the state sent down for barbershops, and we set up uh, social distancing for every station. We set up a, a, a clean zone at the front. We, we took away the, the waiting room area. We made everybody answer questions before they came in. We, everybody's masked up, both the barber and the customer. I mean, we're doing a laundry like crazy. We had all these safety protocols in place and we had to go around to all 36 barbershops and move oh everything around. Goodness. And then have a staff meeting with all 36 staffs about our new process. You know, can't shake hands, can't do the massage, can't do the talc powder, can't do the free soda, can't do popcorn. All the things that made us, you know, that we wrapped around a haircut, gone. All the things that make you the barber. Exactly, gone. So now what do we do? We shorten hair. Shake hands. They don't shake hands with barbers, man. They hug. Have you ever seen them? And a credit, huge credit to the barbers, man. They wanted to open. They wanted to see their customers come back, and they and they, they, you know, they were willing to do this. They were willing to wear a mask eight hours a day, and willing to ask the questions and work the front desk, and, and it, just incredibly inspiring watching them do that.